Hey, did you notice the changes in the SmartThings app following the February 2023 update? I'll be reviewing these new features in today's episode. Whether you're a regular visitor or a first time visitor, I just wanted to take a moment to bid you a warm welcome. My name is Bud, and if this is your first visit, just know that at Bud Smart Home, we provide SmartThings compatible product reviews, SmartThings related news updates, as well as offer innovative smart home automations for both smart things and echo connected voice assistants. Should you find this sort of content appealing, then just tap on that notification bell and you will be reminded of future episodes. So I noted several changes in my smart things app following the latest update. If you are unaware of these changes, then open your smart things app and tap on that menu icon in the lower right hand corner you will see a listed option to review notices. When clicking on notices, you should find an app update notice dated for February 2023 in the list. Inside that notice, you'll find three specific updates. These three featured updates include Explore, Discover, and Test Feature. If you haven't yet installed this latest update, there is a link at the bottom of that notice screen so that you can access that update. Let's first talk about the Explorer feature. You will find the Explorer feature at the very top of the menu screen. The Explorer feature is designed to help you get the most out of your app by showcasing the newest features and the products available for smart things. At the time of this episode, it features three items, which includes information about starting a smart home, remotely cooling your smart home in preparation for the upcoming summer months, and information on how SmartThings can help you host a smart home party. Each article provides compatible product recommendations and cost so that you have the needed information necessary to implement the featured item. The second feature, which we'll cover, is the Discover feature. The Discover feature can be accessed within the Automations tab. Just tap on the compass icon in the upper right of your automation screen. Once you are in the Discover screen, you will find a list of pre-created routine templates which guide you through creating scenes and routines. There are templates for home security, media experience, and energy monitoring, to name a few. The Discover feature is also the area to find smart apps, such as the Smart Lighting app. I use the Smart Lighting app to control both lights and switches. This app provides the ability to create more complex automations based on a variety of inputs, including motion, open and close, presence, mode changes, specific times, or you can set up a routine based on sunrise or sunset. The third feature which has been added is one that I've been seeking for some time now, and this is the ability to test routines. So you now have the ability to test your routines by selecting the test routines action button at the very bottom of any routine screen while you are in the edit mode. It should be noted that advanced features like action delays or auto turn off will not execute when testing a routine. One final item that was not mentioned in the update notice is the supported devices tile that you'll find in the menu screen. When tapping on this supported devices tile, it will open a screen that lists brands and devices that are compatible with smart things. Although this is not completely new, the layout on this title has totally changed. For instance, if you click on Outlets as an example, you will see additional information such as whether a SmartThings hub is required for the device, and you will also see model numbers. In addition, some items include an actual picture of the device. If you're looking for a particular brand of smart plug, you may tap on Filter to be able to sort by brand. You can also sort by newest, most liked, and featured devices. So that's all I have for today's episode. I ask that you tap on the like button, but only if I earned it. Hey, thanks for joining me today. And as always, keep automating and God bless.